In this exercise, we will check if a number is a very interesting number, that is the Armstrong number. So first, let's see what an Armstrong number is. An Armstrong number is a number that is equal to, uh, let's take an example. I think I can explain it better with an example. So let's see if the length of 153 is 3, right? That means it has three digits. Uh, if then we raise each digit of this complete number, that is 1 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3, then it has to be equal to the original number. And in that case, it is an Armstrong number. So if we have a number called 1, 5, 6, and uh, whatever this is, so if this has to be an Armstrong number, then this should be equal to 1 to the power of 4 plus 5 to the power of 4 plus 4 to the power of 4 plus 6 to the power of 6. Sorry, to the power of 4. So we check how many digits are in the number. There are four numbers, right? So uh, we raise each unique digit to the power of the number of uh, digits if we have this number. So 1 to the power of 4. And then we add 5 to the power of 4. That is the second digit. And then we add 4 to the power of 4. That is the third digit. And then we raise 6 also to the power of 4. And then we add this. So if these two are equal, then this is an Armstrong number. So let's see how we can do this. Again, after we do this, there are additional tasks in the next. Is, there are additional tasks in this exercise, and those additional tasks are to create a function and take user input. For now, we'll just take an initial number and let's call it this number and let's check if this is Armstrong number or not. So what do we do? First, we need the length, right? Because we need to raise each digit that is six, seven, four, and six and five to the power of the number of digits we have here. So what we do is we convert this to string first. That is str num equals to string and our number because we can easily check the length of a string so length num equals to length of what our string num we have the length now now we need to do what we did in our previous uh, i think sum of digits number and we need to loop through this so to loop through this we will again use our string converted number so what we do is we do um strong number equals to sum of this to integer sum of digit raised to length num this this thing for what for each of the digits here right so we just write that for digit in str num so we are taking each digit in our list here that is the list of characters that is six seven four six five so we are taking each digit in the string and then we are raising it to length num and then we are adding all those things digits so let's see if our number original number equals to equals to armstrong I'm going to score strong num. We print. What do we print? We print number is an Armstrong number. Else, what do we print? Number is not an Armstrong number. So let's run this and let's see what happens. So this is not an Armstrong number. A common Armstrong number is 153. Now let's run this again. As you can see, 153 is an Armstrong number. Now go on and do these additional tasks. Instead of writing the number here, take the number input from user. So when you run the program, you should ask user, enter your number, and then it should do these calculations and also add this in a function. So when the user enters the number, Call the function, check the output, and then do this printing stuff. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.